You know what I would tell my 20 year old self? Stop running away from feelings. Stop sedating yourself with all this alcohol so you can feel. Stop smoking all this stuff so you can feel. Stop trying to run away and suppress all of it. That's what I would tell my 20 year old self. Not to not go party, to not go do all this crazy stuff. Do all these things. Go experience. Go have fun. Experiment. But stop numbing your body so you can fully experience what you're experiencing. So you don't go and shove down and accumulate all this stuff. That's what I would recommend to my 20 year old self. People have been stuffing things down for so long because it feels so uncomfortable. And because everybody is doing it, there doesn't seem to be anything wrong. But it never goes away. It only just constantly pops up in our life. And now our life is full of problems. But in reality, there is no problems in our life. There's just things that we need to do or not do. There's no problems. The real issue has to do with the fact that we are feeling so much suppressed emotions in our body that our mind is constantly thinking and making up stories, making up stories constantly about stuff. Something happens in my life right now or something's happening. I make up a story. I need to make a judgment. I need to go, this is the way I'm going to protect myself. I need to do it this way because right now there's danger. And that's right now. But this experience right now is very fearful. It's very scary. And now instead of letting go of this experience, letting go of this emotion, I hold on to it. So now later on, when something else gets me to feel afraid, I think about this story that I created. I need to protect myself because these bad things could happen, even though this is a different scenario. But I will find a way to justify it in my mind so that it's relevant here. Now, I need to protect myself the same way that I told myself here. Now, I'm going to tell myself over there. And I'm going to make sense of it in my mind. And this cycle continues to repeat. And something that was only relevant for this scenario right now at this moment gets taken to that one and that one and that one and that one. Because we never let go of the emotion. When we first experienced this, we didn't let go of that emotion. Now that emotion is stored inside. And when we feel, when we feel the emotion again, automatically we take this story and we go, this is what it is. Here's an old story, but I'm going to replace it. I'm going to put it, insert it into this new scenario. And that's how we take old beliefs. This story now becomes a belief and we insert it into our life. And then suddenly we're recreating the same outcomes in life. We are creating all of these problems when there was no reason for it. If we just let go of the emotion right off the back, this story goes away. So now we experience something else and we get afraid again. But now we can properly see what's going on and we don't take an old story and drop it in here and go, yeah, this is kind of like that old story. We don't do that because we released the emotion last time. See, this story here is connected to that old emotion. And when we released it, we released the story right then and there. Whether it was that day, that week, that month, but it's gone. And now when we experience a new thing, while well, we have the same motion, we'll call this motion fear, but we don't take that old story because we released that story back then. So then now we can properly assess what do we need to do right now to go ahead and handle this situation. And then we do it. And then we release this emotion. We release the story. And we don't imprint this into our mind. And then something else happens. We feel fear again. But we don't carry all these old stories. We get to properly assess the current situation of what needs to be done. 
That's what happens when we release the emotions inside. We stop repeating stuff. We stop taking old stories and then playing it as if it's relevant now. Because we never let it go before. That's what I would tell my 20 year old self. <laughs> you know what I would tell my 40 year old self? What are you waiting for? That's what I'll tell my 40 year old self. What are you waiting for? Go get it done. Do it now. The time is now. You don't got any more time to waste here. That's what I would tell my 40 year old self. Because so many young people right now are just stuffing it down. And then they get older and older and all of this drama is coming out. But they can skip all of this. And they can skip all of it simply by learning how to feel and stop sedating their body. Stop sedating it. They will grow a strength, a mental strength that is so powerful that allows them to accomplish the things that they really want and not create all of this drama in their life. But they got to do this one thing. They got to be able to just feel and stop sedating their body with all this stuff. Because now what happens is when something comes up, they fully feel it. They don't sedate. They fully feel it. Oh man, it's intense. It's so tough. And I have this story about it. Okay, but when they fully feel it, it goes away. And this story here goes away as well. And then they're done. And the next time something comes up, the same thing happens. But every time when we are fully feeling the emotion, and then we have some thought that's matching that emotion, every time when we let this go, and we let this go, we get better at letting go. We are practicing every time a person is letting go of the way they feel this emotion, they fully feel it and release it, they get better at fully feeling it and release it. It's just like anything else, all this is just practice. So now you imagine somebody who practices in their early 20s. So by the time they're in their 40s, they don't got all these problems because they know, they, or they, stop, they just stop creating them throughout the life. But now when something else comes up, they can release. They don't carry it because I see people now in their 50s and 60s and oh my God, it's like the years. It's not the years of age on their body. It's the years of them carrying all this emotions in their body. So if you're in your 20s, stop accumulating it now. And all you have to do is practice feeling and stop sedating your body from feeling. Fully feel it, fully surrender to the feeling and release it. You do that at your 20s and your life will be the best that it could be as you get older. And you will wonder and you will look around and while everybody around you is having this drama, you're going, guys, just chill out. <laughs> just, just chill out and just be okay with it. <clears throat> and they won't be able to because they didn't do what you did years ago, which is to fully feel and let go. Now you can let go of things just like that. It's not even difficult because you've been practicing it for so long now. So I hope this makes sense. I hope this could at least just encourage just one 20 year old person to start doing this. Because then that, me that means this video can change and can influence at least one life. And that would be great. <laughs>